Hi guys, this is another continuation from my previous videos because uh, twice I've gone over, um, almost over 10 minutes. So um, just continuing from where I left off where I'd basically uh, made a uh, directory and I'd, um, I copied a file into it. I then went into that directory, deleted that file, came out of that directory and then deleted the, the directory. So uh, what you can also do is move it. So if I was to make the directory again and say um, MD testing yeah, so it says testing there and I'm now going to move this dir.bat into testing so I'm just going to say move.bat um, no sorry move dir.bat testing now you'll notice that I'm not putting in anything like C documents settings Duncan desktop testing uh, that's because we're in the directory and it treats testing as a directory um, or a folder even inside desktop it treats testing as a folder so if I move it you know, it doesn't do anything but now dir.bat's gone and it's inside testing so I then want to go into it and move it back so I say cd um, testing change directory to testing and then move dir.bat and then this time I want to go and get it into the previous folder now I'm going to try this and see if it works it probably will I'm going to say dot dot and then backslash and hopefully that will move it in the previous directory or the up it dot dot means up one level and we're going to move it into desktop basically so I'm going to do that and good it works it's back into the desktop so we can come out of this we're going to go cd dot dot to go back onto desktop which is what we did here that means desktop and then we're going to say rd testing so and you'll notice that the testing folder is gone so this is various things you can do uh, with various commands in DOS um, this, that was uh, I was talking about file manipulation and things like that. Now, let me think of some other things you can do. Um, I've talked about batch files, about how you can make a .bat file and do multiple commands, um, which is ideal if you want to do things like arguments and stuff like that. Um, uh, if you want to, uh, if you do make a batch file um, and you want it to display something, you just say echo and then you say something else. So, but you'll notice that batch files sometimes start with something called at echo. Oops, at echo off. That just basically means don't show the commands in the batch file because when you make a batch file, um, it comes up with all the commands. So if I make uh, multiple commands, say if I said RD test, MD testing, all that, it will show up on here as RD test, MD testing. Um, now, when we first used to start our computers up with DOS, it used to show these commands and it used to be not not very nice to look at. Now, um, what you can do is take echo off and it will not display anything and just do everything in the background. So that is useful. And then if you want to display something to say something like, I don't know, working or something like that, you say echo working, da, 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 da. obviously I haven't turned echo off, so, and then it says working there. So it would show up working and then it wouldn't do anything else, even though you're conducting all these, um, these uh, file operations because you turned echo off. So, uh, oh, another one here to do here, some other tricks you can do, uh, CLS is clear the screen. So you see that's getting a bit untidy. Um, with the Windows uh, command prompt, I think you can do something like color one two. Uh, oh no, maybe not. Uh, okay, if I say color naught, color one, basically change the color of the box. There we go. Now my text is now blue. So if I make it green to make it matrix style, it's so color two. And you'll notice when I said color or made, did the color thing wrong. Um, oops. Oh no, color must reset it. Uh, color. If I do color slash. Uh, a question mark to find out what this does. Sets so the default console foreground and background color, color attribute. Um, you'll see a list of all the colors you can have. So I'm going to change it back to green. So it's color two, wasn't it? There you go. So um, it's now green. You can also do this by right clicking and going to properties, and then you can see screen background, pop up background, blah, 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 blah. Um, okay, so that is several things you can do with files and folders. Now, you don't, you can't. You, <laughs> The command prompt does more than just um, accessing files and folders, it does things to do with the internet as well. So I'm going to do some basic internet commands. So if I want to um, test my internet connection to make sure I can access things like Google and um, it doesn't show up on the web page or on YouTube or something, it doesn't show up on the web page, it, it says cannot be, uh, cannot be displayed or something stupid like that. So I'm going to ping it. What ping does is send uh, like a signal to the server that you're connecting to because when you connect to a website you connect to a server. So it's going to connect to a server um, and the server is going to then respond um, to my little ping command and it's going to send some replies back. 
Um, it's basically sending a packet to a server and it's sending a packet back to say it's received it. So I'm going to say ping www.google.com, press enter, and you notice that I'm pinging it and it's replying to me and it's saying the time, that, uh, I think that's time to live, uh, the TCL means. And um, basically it's saying reply. So I've got four replies, which is great. Ping statistics, I sent four um, packets and I received four packets. So 0% lost, approximate round trip. And um, what you'll notice also is when I pinged it, it said it, it's got here 66.249.91.103. Now this is useful because when you ping a website, um, it will show you its IP address. Now if, you, if I was to type this, if I go into edit and mark, drag it over here, press enter, it will copy it. And if I was to paste this into Firefox, it's loaded up google.com. That's because um, without using uh, the servers have something called DNS which allow you to go on www.google.com because it's, it's a domain name. Um, but, you, but you're actually connecting to its IP address, which is that. So Google's IP address is that. Now, um, this can also be useful if you ping someone's server or someone's website, if they have one at home or something like that. Because you, 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 you can ping other people's computers. If they know their IP address, you can ping them. And that's useful for things like games. Um, but you can find out the location of where someone is if you find their IP address. I'm just going to go to internetfrog.com and I'm just going to show um, the IP address here. So it's, uh, this, is, this line looks like mine or something like that, I'm not sure. So I'm going to paste it in, IP check, and it says that the IP location is in the United States, and then I can map it, and then it shows me uh, the, that it's connected through the internet through blah, 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 blah. So if you receive, I don't know, if you receive like a file from someone and you manage to get hold of the IP address of the person who sent it and you know who they're connected through because like I've had a friend who's um, connected to my website and left nasty comments or one of my old websites um, I know it was him even though he said he was someone else because I, I logged his IP address and um, I knew he was connected with a certain company so I know it was him and I could also map his location whoops which I've already done and it basically shows where the ser server is and I, I, he lived near me so it showed up where he lived so uh, that's useful for finding things out now another one's called tracert and what this does is show you all the the path it takes to get to a website so if I went to google.com it's gonna get these uh, uh, usually it times out in the first one I'm not sure why but it will continue afterwards basically it'll show me a load of seconds that's taken to go through uh, several things to get to Google um, so we're tracing a route to Google You'll see it's coming up with various things here. It seems to be taking a while. It doesn't usually, but hey. So you can see this, these are all the. This is the route it takes to get to Google for me. So um, that's Tracer. I'm going to break this. Control and break. Excuse me. And um, that's uh, several things you can do. Another one is Net User, I think, um, where you can basically it shows you all the users that you have for your PC. Uh, user accounts for HPC. Now, some people have said uh, you can do net user, choose the um, username, and then star. And it says type of password for the user. And they seem to get it into their heads that you can change the admin password on things like networks and things like that, but you can't do it. So don't listen to anybody that says, oh, I can hack using the command prompt. And they've done net user, username, and star, because that's a stupid way of doing it. Um, you can also do net send. Now, this doesn't work with. Um, uh, service Pack 2, um, Service Pack 1 people have it enabled as default, Service Pack 2 users have it disabled. Um, but what you could basically do is say net send and then mine's turned on I think, so I'm going to uh, ping, I'm going to net send myself. Uh, you could then send messages to people and say hello and it would basically, I think it might time out because I've got it disabled. Oh, uh, you basically say net send the computer, um, yeah, my last could not be found. Um, and it will basically send a message and it will come up as a pop-up and it will say hello <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I did a net send to, you can do a multiple net send I, I downloaded a program, I did it to everyone on the college network and I got in quite serious trouble for doing that so um, everyone who logged on um, got a message from this uh, so these are several useful commands, oh one last one before I, I run out of time system info, uh, works with XP Pro uh, shows you several things about your uh, computer and the most important one is system uptime tells you how long your computer has been up so thanks for watching my video please comment rate subscribe if you like my videos and thanks again